Hi, in this session I'm going to cover how to create a data table, more specifically a one variable data table. Now data tables are one of those what if analysis tools that you can use in Excel. So for example, in this particular scenario, we have a loan amount of $100,000. We have an interest rate of 1.5% yearly. And let's say we want to get that loan for 30 years. There is an Excel function that will be able to figure out the monthly payment. And basically, these arguments are as follows. The B3 divided by 12 is your interest rate. Uh, and divided by 12, turning it into a monthly interest rate per year. The B4 times 12, basically, that's our term times 12 months in a year, so 360 in this case. And B2 is the loan amount that we are borrowing. And that comes out to $345.12 that we need to pay monthly. Now, if we wanted to try to figure out, you know, the different type of interest, the different type of monthly payments by varying this interest rate, let's say it's 2%, then it will give us 369.62. So, I mean, we can go through different iterations saying 2.5% or 3% to figure out the monthly payment or we can use a data table to give us a the monthly payments based on a range of interest rates. So in order to create a data table, a one variable data table, we have our we have our list or our range of the variables that change and to the to the top and to the right, we need to reference the formula that's going to be using these changing variables and that's going to be this formula here. So I'm just going to go ahead and put an equal sign and reference that cell here. Press enter and we've got our monthly payment amount and that's for the 2%. So in order to fill out the monthly payments for the respective range of variables that get changed here, I'm going to go ahead and select this table or this range, go under the data tab, go to the what if analysis commands in the data tools and select data table. Now the data table window comes up and it's going to be asking for a row input cell or a column input cell. Now if we're doing a two variable data table we would input both of these but since we're only doing one, let me bring this up here, we're going to only use one of them and that's going to be the column input cell. The reason why we're going to put this in the column input cell is that our variables are in one column here, in the column here. So this column input cell is going to be our reference here. So this is going to be the variable that changes. So go ahead and click OK and you'll see that now it has populated our results for each of the changing interest rates. So we see 2% here is 36962. So just to validate it, let's say we make this 3%. And if we change that to 3%, we have 42160, 3% 3 at 42160. Now, incidentally, if you didn't have your variables in a column and instead had them in, a, in one row, uh, it'd be the same thing, but you just would change it. So if I just control C to copy this, and let's say I'll just put it over here, and I'll go ahead and paste the transpose. What I need to do here in this instance is then put the that reference formula over to the left and at the bottom. And basically I'm just going to go equal sign to that cell, press enter, and then I would select this range, go to data, what if analysis data table, and now instead of putting it in the column input cell, I'd put in the row input cell because it's on a, it, all my changing variables are in one row. And this will reference, of course, the changing variable here. So I'll go ahead and click OK, and we can see we have the same values, 321, 64, 333, 25, 25, etc. So there's your overview of creating a one variable data table. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching.